Okay, chapter 39. Max couldn't believe her ears. She'd won? Some of the other kids started sobbing. Even Klaus was screwing up his nose, trying not to cry. Congratulations, Max, said Annika, struggling against the tears that were filling her blue eyes. I I'm happy for you. Me too, said Tisa. Happy? They both looked miserable. Max probably should have felt elated. Maybe she should have jumped up and down and pumped her fists and done some kind of victory dance. Instead, oh, she felt horrible. She hated seeing her new friends so down and discouraged, their spirits crushed by what they all probably felt was the biggest defeat in their young lives. You guys, is all she could say. I'm sorry, I didn't. Max, said the head judge. She, re she turned to face the stage. She had to sniffle back her own tears. Yes, sir. Please report to the briefing room in two hours to refer receive your first CMI assignment and to meet your team. We've assembled some of the best scientists and engineers in the world to assist you in your task. The rest of you, please enjoy the buffet breakfast and then, at your earliest convenience, pack your bags. It is time for you to return home where we are certain you will all continue to do amazing and great things. Max's eight friends, her former rivals, stood. Nobody was holding hands. Max missed that. She liked the hand-holding. Congratulations, Max, said Carl from the row behind her. Once you've been properly briefed, added Isabel, we will be pulling you out of Israel. It's too hot here, said Carl. I'm not referring to the temperature either. We need to stay one step ahead of the Corps, said Isabel. Indeed you do, said Miss Kaplan, giving Max a look of disdain. The CMI matron undoubtedly figured the sudden appearance of the Corps in Jerusalem was all Max's fault, which, come to think of it, it probably was. Max watched the eight other contestants, their heads hanging down, shuffling out of the auditorium. Y'all seem so sad, broken. All their spirit and fiery passion had in an instant of the in the instant of the announcement been extinguished. That was a huge problem. One for Max to solve. Because that's who she was. A problem solver. Just like Albert Einstein.